All right, so now we're going to be doing a legit test. We're going to play a game. We're going to play just some good old Ashes 2. We're going to do a beginner. We're going to do short. Let's make it nice, simple, short and sweet. Nice and simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh my God, thank God. This isn't going on YouTube. Or probably I'll put it on YouTube just to embarrass the fuck out of myself as long as the audio is okay. Yeah, I'll probably do that. All right, uh, let's go back to the old glory days of the sharpshooter here on Beginner in our good old map, Ashes 2. I started for crossbow. I don't remember that being a thing. Uh, have I been out of the swing that long? Probably, to be 100% honest. I probably have been. Just being not real with you right now. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm just looking. Yeah, you spawn off a spot crossbow. It used to be the lever action thing. I know that much, but maybe just because I'm level 6, it gave me a crossbow now. I got a sweet headset. I got uh, my mic, so hopefully I sound better. Hopefully everything sounds okay. Sound is kind of quiet on my end, but honestly, I don't mind that. It's a little bit muffly to me. I'll get used to it and give it like two or three years. <laughs> this is my first time actually using a table mic. So, yay for that. For once in my life, I'm actually not going to sound like shit. I'm actually going to do what the big boys do and not suck with my audio. Now, this video is probably going to abruptly end out of nowhere, and if that's the case, I'm sorry. This is just a mic test. I don't even have my external hard drive in, to be 100% honest. Uh, this is just going to be raw video, so... Yeah, which is why I probably won't put it on YouTube, but I probably will just for the shits of it. I probably won't edit it at all. Just probably be up there just because I... Just so I can be like, hey! I'm doing it, guys! I'm doing it! I'm trying, anyway! Um... I'm honestly just doing random shit. Uh, don't think I'm doing any rhyme or reason here. And don't think there was necessarily a specific reason that I chose Ashes 2. To be completely honest, it was like the first one that kind of popped up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's the first one that popped up. Don't get me wrong. The map was great. And, you know, we had our issues with it. And, but we also loved it at the same time. So, you know. It's got its stuff. I don't know if... If I'm being 100% honest, I don't remember if um, Steam Workshop stuff auto-updates or not. If that's the case, well then, uh, well, there could be some changes to this map that I wouldn't have even realized. <laughs> this should be a full video, shouldn't it? But no, uh, we're not doing that. Sorry. No one's requested me to do this. No one's said I should. Uh, I feel the, the one video we have on it was good enough. I think it was good for its time. Audio is probably not going to be nearly as good as this, but hey, it's also I also chose this map while completely random, as I said. Uh, it kind of works out that I chose this map to kind of show how our audios improved. Like, if I really wanted to show that, I should have gone back to the first damn map. Like, but as I said, this was completely random, so I'm just completely spewing shit out of my mouth. That sounds terrible. It's so disgusting when I say it like that, but that's basically what I'm doing right now. Yeah, that's great. My day's been weird so far. I've been waiting all this time to get this new table mic, then I finally got it, and then I had to, like, I know nothing about audio stuff. So, like, my friends are, like, my friend Jason, you might know him from this channel or you might not. He basically helps me with all my computer shit. He's, like, yelling at me, right? Like, he's not yelling at me, but, like,. Look, let me just give you the full story before my thing dies. He probably will at any moment. But so me and him are setting this up, right? Like we get, we had to get. First of all, we used the mic, and we're like, "Why can't we hear anything?" We plugged it directly into the computer. FYI, yes, I know some of you are probably face palming so hard if you do any form of entertainment with YouTube videos or just videos and audio technology in general. You know that is <laughs> that's not going to work too well, especially when you're using a uh, what are they called? A dynamic mic, I believe they're called. And then the other one's cardioid. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm no audio engineer. But apparently I am. Here, let me get finish the story. So, um, we get one of those, I believe they're called, uh, a preamp. We have, uh, preamps installed now. And it's a stereo preamp. And guess what we did? So we're noticing, oh, fuck, it's only coming from one speaker, the left ear, at first. And we're like, oh, shit, we're screwed. What the fuck is happening? Is this mic shit? By the way, it's a short uh, SMB7, I think it is, something like that. So no, it's not shit, by the way. But um, we're doing all this shit. It's a big mess. We're like, what the fuck do we do? None of us have any idea. And I had said this a while ago, right? But I got called, based I didn't get called directly it, but it was basically implied it by the way they were talking to me, like... 
at one point I said, well, there's two things here. Why don't we just plug a second thing in? And everyone's like, no, that's just if you want a second instrument in there. Duh. And I'm like, oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure. No, Zelkrin, you're an idiot. Okay. So the, the idiot turns out being right. Not even kidding. We uh, tested it by uh, doing a little thing. Like we switched the cords. This Jason's gone by this point. It's just me and my parents. My dad switches my cord. Like, the single cord I had in this thing. And, um... <laughs> it was great. The audio literally shifted to the second speaker. Right? The speaker that it wasn't coming from before. So we're like, wait a minute. Do we just need two? So we go out. We run out. We buy the new speaker. Boom. Boom. I sound like this. Obviously, I had to work on it a little bit to get my audio to where it hopefully should be now. I was having some little muffly issues earlier with fraps, but it's not for it, it's not my mic now. It's fraps I'm concerned about. So hopefully I sound okay. Let me know if I sound e well echoey could be possible, but shit mic like old days, like back when I first started this channel. Let me know if I sound like that because I kind of sounded like that on my thing. It's weird though because I don't hear it when I listen to it on speakers. I only heard it when I listen to it on my new headset that I got. It's just a cheap one to be honest. That's fair. So that could be something to do with it too, but. You know. Let me know how I sound. Hopefully I sound okay. Hopefully I don't sound completely shit. Because this was an expensive mic. And, I mean, at this point I'll get rid of fraps. I don't care. I'm not buying a new mic. This mic is a god. Like, if you can hear it on sound recorder, this thing is legit a god. I, I've, I'm very happy I finally got a table mic. And I'm sure you guys will be very happy I did. Like, honestly, I, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it now. Uh, if we ever do get bigger, which, you know, it's inevitable that we slightly get bigger, but, you know, like, big time, like, like, you know, something like that you can only dream, obviously, but you know what I mean. Uh, we're gonna look back at, like, the thousands of videos I put out, like, why the fuck did I never get a ta- why did he never get a table mic? Why- why does- why did he choose to sound so shit when he worked so hard in these videos? Why didn't he fix the most important thing? Like, that, that's how you guys probably look at it. That's how I'm probably going to look at this years from now. Like, why didn't I do this earlier? And I'm going to cringe so hard. I'm going to cringe so hard. I'm already cringing. Once I heard how good I sounded, I already started cringing. See, if you want me to be 100% honest on why I didn't, it wasn't just stubbornness. While that was part of it, to be 100% honest. But I've said that so many times in this video. I'm sorry. But, um... God. I always do that and then I lose track. But, um... The reason I didn't get it, other than stubbornness, was that uh, I didn't know how these would work. See, I was used to using, like, cardioid, I think they're called. I don't know what they're actually called. Like, Blue Yetis and shit, right? Like, Blue Yetis are cool. They work pretty great if you do them right. But the Blue Yeti I had was shit. I don't know why. Maybe it was because I didn't get the pro version. Maybe it was just bad mic. But to be like, to be honest, Jason's using it now, and you can hear it. There's static and shit whenever he uses it in his videos. He's gonna have a new mic now because that thing broke and he's dead. But that that was my first expression. Uh, expressions, impressions of a table mic. So I thought, oh god, they're not that good. And then there's all this background noise. Well, listen to me now. I shouldn't have any background noise. I guess it's just something to do with the fact this is a, da a dynamic microphone, which technically means it's for singing, so I could sing with this thing if I really wanted to. God, no, never, never, please kill me. Um, it's never gonna happen, don't worry. He says, and then one day it will happen. Uh, <laughs> God knows. But, you know, so that's why I didn't do it. I was very scared that there'd be tons of background noise, that it would just be a mess. It'd be a fucking mess. And at the end of the day, it just would not be worth the money. Well, this thing sure was worth the fucking money. I can tell you that much. It was certainly worth the money. That was terrible. Slow scope. I don't know. Fuck. I'm not a quit scoper. I'm not in face plan. I'm not going for the quit scoping leads. <laughs> like, I, I gotta be 100% honest and ask you something, though. Um, I, I keep saying that. Fuck me. That's like my expression today. But I gotta ask you guys a question, right? What is it with... Like, back in the day, when me, when Tarius, Zeno, and all them were recording with me, this is, like, way back now, like, back on Sphere Channel, we just, we had it as a hub, right? What is it with YouTube now and, like, specifically clans, even more so Call of Duty clans, and, like, going full frontal, hey, let's all do YouTube! 
and somehow they had spent this is gonna work. Like, I don't want to give it any specific names other than obviously Face Clan because they're the biggest. But, well, to be honest, they were successful. They're one of the few. But I ran into this clan recently. They got like 20 people in their fucking channel thing, right? Like, that's not literal numbers, but it was like 20 people it almost looked like, right? And they all make videos. Some of these people got 12 subs. Some of them have like fucking, uh, I don't know, five. Some of them have a hundred. Obviously, the hundreds were the leaders. <laughs> Wonder why. Um, and I got asked what the hell you're thinking because I'm listening to these people's mics, right? They were basically my mic, right? Two years or three years ago, right? They were that bad. It was, the audio was that bad. And I know, Zoker, you want to talk? You sounded terrible for all this time, right? Yeah, I get it. You're justified in that. But, but that's not my problem. My problem is, these motherfuckers, they have nothing but lights on their videos. They got no complaints. They have like five likes. They have like a million things supporting them. Not a million views, but you know, you got tons of support. And I'm just wondering, how? What? How are we experiencing two sides of YouTube? Like, like you guys are awesome. Don't get me wrong. You guys are amazing. You're the best guys I've probably ever met. Like, you guys are pretty chill for fans. Like, a lot of people have some bad fans. I'm sorry. Some people have some really bad people in their communities and whatnot. Like, they will just destroy someone. But, for the most part, you guys are awesome. Now, you got a silent. <laughs> To be fair, because I'm quiet. But I know you guys are watching because I can check with demographics and stuff. So I know you're watching. But, like, these guys are getting comments on comments. And they're, like, getting lights and lights. And I'm just like, what the fuck? How is this happening? And then I'm looking, right? It's by their own clan members. Oh, God, I went red there. Sorry. A little bit too loud. But it's by their own clan members. Hi, Patriarch. Their own clan members are liking their videos and sharing them and all this shit. Right? This isn't real. <laughs> they're not... They're not fucking... In, like, uh... They're not... Uh, what's the word I'm trying to go for here? I, I sound like a dick. I know. But I'm sorry. I gotta say it. Like... This, is this the new... Wow, that was fast. But is this the new, like, MCMs or whatever the fuck they're called? Is this the new networks? Clans? Are you serious? We're just gonna have clans with people now? <laughs> like, hell, let's start this fair clan. Have, like, 20 channels. And then, instead of saying, you know what? Fuck actually getting comments about how I actually am doing. Let me get comments that are just non-stop support rather than doing any form of criticism at all. It's so fake. It's so, I, I, it's so fake. It's not even funny. But for some reason, I don't know what it is. And this isn't just YouTube. Like this is just in a lot of fields. I gotta say it. Why do people gotta face their stuff? Like I take pride in knowing that our channel isn't fake at all. You guys all came here and you guys all found this channel by pure chaos coincidence. <laughs> like. That's crazy, all right? We have probably, God knows by the time you're watching this video, but we have 182 people here, right? All of you found me by pure accident. <laughs> Let's be honest here. You probably found me by pure accident. Very few of you are my friends. I will admit there are some friends in here, but the majority of you, complete strangers. And you know what? I love that. I love having met people on this, doing this thing. I love having gotten criticism for bullshit I've done in the past. For being a mess in the past. Because let's be honest. I've made some mistakes. I've made some fucked up mistakes. I'm not going to lie there. Uh, it'd be stupid for me to lie to be honest. You'd just tear me a new one. But. You know I don't understand why people. Think that they can fake their stuff right. And they're like ooh. I'm doing good on YouTube. I'm doing well. My channel's completely fake. But hey. And. Let me just tell you, if, if if you're one of those people who thinks that's going to work, let me let me tell you how it is straight up, okay? If you're faking your sub counts, if you're faking your lights, like, it's one thing to put one like on one of your videos. To be honest, I don't do that now because why? But I know some people that will like their videos. Hell, even PewDiePie did it as a joke back in the day. But, you know, if you like your own videos, if you're on account, go for it, you know? That's just your thing. But... When you're literally making fake sub accounts and shit, like when you're 
Literally, you need a clan of like 20 people to put comments on your videos and like them and basically fuck with the results to get you up there. What do you think you're achieving? What, what are you doing? Because the issue is... I am better as a YouTuber because of criticism I got, alright? I haven't gotten much criticism, but I've the, some of them that I did really helped me. Over the years, I've gotten tons of things from people. Some of them my own friends, some of them complete strangers. And you know what? I'm a better person for it. Because I realized how I was fucking up. These people are literally inflating their channels with fakeness. Thinking, oh, I'm gonna make myself the next big YouTuber by giving me a hundred fake sub accounts. And do you know what happens? They eventually do get bigger. They finally get noticed. And you know what? People call them out. They're like, dude, your content sucks. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh god, broke my mic again. I don't know why it does that, but yeah, still doing a test as I said. But this somehow turned into a rambling video. But um. <laughs> We should end it before I offend, like, every small starting up YouTuber. Like, like I said, there's some great talent out there. There's some people who really know what they're doing, and I'm talented, really. I'm not talented at all. I know, that's what some of you are saying right now. That's okay. I, I, I understand. I, to be honest, probably my number one talent, if I'm being straight up with you, I, I love doing YouTube videos, and I do it because, you know, I want to meet people, like I've said, and you'll see in a Minecraft video I did, uh, I do a whole rambling skit. Don't ask me why. I, I don't know. But the whole reason I got into this was to make friends, was to see people, was to play games, but also at the same time, you know, have fun. Be friends with people. Now, I would be lying if I said I didn't come into this thinking and maybe I can make some money, hopefully make this a job, which is, to be honest, that's my dream. Doing something in the creative field that doesn't have a boss over my head screaming, You fucking suck. You need to do this. You need to make your story this way. You need to make your story that way. There's not enough sex in your story. There's not enough representation or there's under-representation in your story. I don't want to ever end up in that kind of situation, which is why, to be honest, yes, there was a part of me that did come into this hoping, Please, God, can I make this a job? And... Some people would call that bad. I don't really see why, but whatever. Like, I didn't come into this solely for the money, and for some reason, that's all people will hear. Like, I've knocked PewDiePie in the past, but I gotta ask you guys straight up, why do people go after him for making $4 million or whatever he makes a year? Like, seriously, that guy works hard. Whether you believe it or not, that guy works hard. That guy got the dream job, all right? He got the dream job, and <laughs> let's be honest, he he's good at what he does. Like, even I as a kid, I will admit, like a 14-year-old brat, I'm gonna call myself that, because that's pretty much what I was. Um, not to PewDiePie, like I said, like when somebody would ask me what YouTubers I watch, I said, uh, this guy, Markiplier, Scott Septic, da, 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 and uh, sometimes PewDiePie, but I don't really like him. Like, I'd say something stupid as shit like that. Like, why? PewDiePie's fine. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is with people and, like, this whole thing where apparently you making money is bad, but... Like, even I make money, but you know how much money I make? I got, like, five bucks in my name for this job, all right? That's insane. Some people don't call that a job. I do. I'd be living on the streets, to be fair, but, hey. <laughs> I'll live in the streets. I don't really care. That's that's actually my mentality. It's kind of scary, and my parents and my friends are kind of scared for me about that, but that's literally my mentality. I will die in the streets, all right, before I get a job that is, how I describe it, terrible and bad. Like, it's just not going to happen. I would rather die. <laughs> and for those of you who can do it, damn, I have respect for you. Good job. I, I Take one for the team. <laughs> like, here's my here's my ideology behind it, right? Like, I'm not, I'm not some guy who's like, <laughs> you peasants, I'm so much better than you. Fuck you. I make you to work a new job. That's not my mentality. The reason I'm like that is because I'm going to be straight honest with you. I keep saying. Fuck, I need to stop that. It's getting ridiculous. I'm sounding ghetto as fuck. But, um... And I just bumped my thing. The reason I'm like that is because, if I'm gonna be 100% honest, I'm alone. 
I live on my own. Like, technically, I'm with my parents. But, you know, I got no girlfriend. I have no family. I got none of that. And thus, I'm going to be honest, I probably never will, okay? That sounds really sad. And some putty is probably going to say that. But I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm not those kind of person that's really into that. You probably... If you've been a fan of this channel for a while, you know that, you know, I had a girlfriend at one point, but that ended up a mess. We're not going to talk about that because their her parents are insane. But, um, I'm probably going to end up living alone, and sometimes that could be depressing, I will admit it. But the reality is, that's life. I'm okay with that. To be honest, I'm kind of a loner anyway. This is kind of my personality. I've always kind of been that way. Like... Now, be, being 100% honest, if I did end up with a girlfriend or a family or a wife or whatever the fuck, God knows, those big dreams right there, I probably would get a job. I probably, like, if this wasn't paying the bills, yeah, I'd probably get a job because I'd, I'd, I'd have a kid to look after. I'd have a girlfriend to look after. I'd have, I need to be making money. I need to be contributing, but I'm on my own. I'm single. I'm, I'm, <laughs> what do you want me to say? Uh, I'll live in the streets. Just go for it. <laughs> Some guy's commenting right now. Motherfucker. You don't know what it's like to live in the streets. You don't know how to struggle. You don't know how much heroin I'm putting in my... Stop, okay? I know. All right? I, I live in Florida, for fuck's sake. Some people think Florida is sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> no. 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 Not at all. Not at all. To be fair, I live in one of the nicer areas in Florida. But before I moved here, my parents were so stupid. They went to the most ghetto place. God. It, it, it was not literally a ghetto, but it was so close. It was so close. It's not even funny. Jason still lives near there. He can attribute to how bad the area is. It's so bad. I saw so much shit. I might as well have... I might as well be a war veteran. I seen so much shit. Fuck. Recently, there were shootings and shit over back where I used to live. It's fucked over there. It's so fucked. But, you know. God, that was much more than I intended to be into this. I guess this is definitely going to be a video now because there's just way too much not to fucking post at this point. We've been recording a long time, too. I could have sworn I would have run out of foot like space by now. Huh. That's really weird. But I think... Besides the crazy stories in my ghetto nonsense that I used to deal with back when I was a kid. Um, which we can save for another video, to be honest. And honest. I, I think we're done here. Thank you for watching this. Like This was just a sound check, but this turned into a rant, ramble, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So, if you enjoyed, let me know. I do want to do more videos like this where I just talk to you guys and just kind of talk to the community, because that's... I'm gonna be honest, I want to do that. I keep saying it, I need to stop. Oh, it's gonna become one of my catchphrases, but... I'm, I almost said it again. I'm, try, I'm trying so hard not to say it. I'm so sorry, but... Um, I've... I want to talk to you guys. I want to, you know, chill with you guys. I want to... Talk to you guys. I don't know how much I can say that, but... I'm just so fucking busy. Like... I'm having to edit everyone's videos and that's just probably gonna always be the case i'm like a one-man army in here i got my editing pc over there you can't see me pointing but hey i got my server literally right next to me for all my media that's got like 12 terabytes help help i have a fucking file problem and and then i have this fucking setup right here using a fucking lap it's so bad all right it's so bad but you know i'm i'm really busy and i'm sorry and I, I always keep saying I want to make more of these videos, but this video of all things should remind you, I still got to fucking catch up. I still have to fit Killing Floor. I've probably missed five. I think it's five, but just to be safe and to be super nice, I'm going to give you six videos for how far behind I am. It's all going to probably go out this Friday or next. If it's next, it'll be seven. Um, and yeah, I, it's crazy. <laughs> but here we are. Table mic. Zelkrin has evolved into table mic form. Finally. After what has almost been... No, what has been years now. Zelkrin has at last evolved into table mic Zelkrin.
<laughs> and I keep saying table mic. It's actually boom arm mic. It's technically music mic. Table mic is what probably was fucking me over. I should have just gone with mus the music route with this shit. To be honest, though, um, I didn't say to be 100%. Haha, -ha, I got you there. Um, to be honest, uh, the reason I got this mic specifically is I was told big boy red hair, I believe he has right now. Markiplier, he was known for his big pink hair, actually uses this mic. So a little shout out to Shore, if that's really true. And a little shout out to Mark from little YouTuber me. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, I keep bumping it. It's like right up against my face. That's the problem. Not right up. It's like on my side. It's really weird. I'll, I'll probably show a picture in the future. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. Future plans. I can't be hurt at all now. Did I just fuck everything up here? Let me fix this. There we go. Hopefully everything didn't just get destroyed. <laughs> help me. Guys, help. I need help. Help. <laughs> Hashtag save Zelkrin. Marina Joy situation 2.0. Oh, no, no. I'm out. Peace. I'm, I'm going. I'm ruining everything. This has been Zelkrin. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video stream wherever the fuck you find me. Before. <laughs> before I get sued for harassment. Bye.